Hello, Gary Stearman. It is the 22nd of March of the year 2012. Time for another update. That date, March 22nd, marks exactly one year since the passing of our founder, J.R. Church. And today we're going to make an announcement, and we told you yesterday on this update that we would be making a special announcement, uh, and, and it has to do with the anniversary of J.R.'s passing. It has to do with a dream that J.R. Church always had about prophecy in the news, and we're going to reminisce a little bit. I've got Bob Ulrich in studio with me, and, and, and Bob, let's go back to 1979. J.R. had a dream. He came from Lubbock, Texas to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he literally pulled off a miracle. He set up shop in his garage. He built a little little television studio out in his garage, and he proceeded to start Prophecy in the News uh, ministry right out there on that day. That's right. In fact, going all the way back to his days in college, uh, J.R. earned money as an electronics technician. He repaired televisions. He was a ham operator, built his own radio. And uh, you talk about God's providence. That electronics expertise enabled JR to set up a TV studio. And he set up one in his garage, and then uh, later a better one, and finally a better one than that. And we are where we are now because of JR's dream. Just before he passed away, he built this new studio that we're in. And it's all because he had this desire to bring out Bible prophecy into a television venue back in the days when very few people were doing this. Back in 1979, there weren't a lot of people teaching prophecy, That's no right. less teaching it on television. J.R. was a pioneer in a lot of ways, and, and the books that he wrote were pioneering works, you know, that really were out on the cutting edge. He started a little black and white newspaper. The television ministry grew, and, you know, today we look at the studio we're in today, and it's just magnificent. It's just beautiful. It was built on the gifts and contributions and offerings of so many of the people who watch our ministry and follow us faithfully. He Absolutely. laid the foundation. <clears throat> and he was very ill in the years before he passed on, as many of you know, and yet he summoned up the energy to build this studio and to position these three cameras that we're using today to give you a kind of a look into the heart of Prophecy in the News. His dream was to bring Bible prophecy, premillennial, pre-tribulational, dispensational Bible prophecy right out of the Word of God to anybody and everybody who was out there watching. And I think he did a great job. He, he got us off to a great start. But Bob, you know and I know that as he was passing away, his dream was incomplete, and he expressed that to us several times. Yeah, he bemoaned the fact that we were working with archaic equipment. We were working with television cameras that were 15 years old, you know, kept alive by duct tape and a lot of prayer. <laughs> uh, technology had since passed yeah. us long by, and of course, television cameras are really expensive. The technology of high-definition television is, is awesome, and it's beautiful, and it looks wonderful coming into your living room. Uh, but the equipment we've been using for a long time is long past uh, replacement. And we're going to have to take the next step in that foundation that he laid. Uh, he left our ministry debt-free. You guys helped us build this beautiful studio that we have. We're at the point now where we need to buy three new television cameras because we have an opportunity on the horizon yes, that we, we believe is going to change not just prophecy in the news, but the world for the first time in 32 years we have a chance to take our television program worldwide to over two billion people at a very reasonable cost, and that is exciting. But it will require that we upgrade our studio to current industry standards. Uh, we're talking about HD, digital, uh, the new broadcast standards all over the world uh, have bypassed our 15-year-old technology, and we need to upgrade to new cameras. We're using three cameras in uh, this studio right now, and those three cameras need to be brought up to 2012 standards, and we believe we can do it with your help. And so we're announcing, and I'm going to let Bob give you the details, we're announcing a, a fund in J.R. Church's memory. We're calling it the J.R. Church Studio Fund, and the proceeds from that fund are going to go strictly to one 
objective, and that is upgrading our three 15-year-old uh, outdated archaic cameras to the new HD digital standards. And Bob, let's talk about how people can participate in that JR Church studio. And fund. it's going to be exciting when that day actually comes, when these cameras are actually focused on us. I'm not so sure I'm going to be that excited about them being focused <laughs> on me in high definition. But we have an opportunity now ahead of us that JR must be really excited about, a chance to reach the whole world with the gospel, the prophetic message. We've put a little package together because we really do believe uh, that if a lot of people participate, it makes the work lighter. It makes the task lighter at hand for us to acquire these cameras. We'd like you to give an offering to Prophecy in the News of $100. Uh, not a huge amount of money. Some of you may feel led, led to give a lot more than that as the Lord leads. But if we could get a lot of people participating at that $100 level, we really think that would be manageable for people. Every time you turn on your television and see Gary and see myself and see all of the guests that we bring in from out of town to the program and share the gospel message with the world, Jesus is coming soon. That's the message JR wanted to give. That's the message we have for the world today. We've put together a little package that I'm sure would make JR smile. You've probably seen these in our magazine. This is the JR Church video collection. Mm -hmm. We'd like to send you both of these. Now, normally these are $49.95 each. We'd like to send you both of these for your gift of $100 to the JR Church Television Studio Fund. You may already have these. So many of you have heard JR's messages over the years. We've got a, seven, a, se a second option. This is the Tim LaHaye Prophecy Study Bible. It's my choice of Bibles. It's something I've used for a long, long time. JR loved this Bible, just filled with tremendous prophetic information. Your gift of $100, we're going to send you this Tim LaHaye Bible for free. Your gift of $100, we're going to send you the JR Church DVD video collection mm -hmm. for that gift. And I'd just like to add that uh, you don't have to limit it to $100. If the Lord leads you to give more, that's great. But we would love to have you uh, receive a tribute to JR's life uh, work in these 12 powerful messages on 12 DVDs, and, and we have those in, in, in two uh, attractive cases, as you saw Bob holding them up. Just something uh, to remember, J.R., by or, or your choice uh, of the Bible. By the way, that Tim LaHaye uh, Prophecy Study Bible is the one that Bob uses. He loves it. I love it, too, as a matter of fact. Again, either of these uh, two gifts for... Uh, I guess we could say just for your participation in J.R. Church's dream. He's, he had this dream, he expressed it to me personally so many times, and, uh, and I believe that he, he came right to the edge of it with his life, and he handed the baton off to me and to Bob, and Bob, we've just got to press forward because we think the time is right. Well, it's hard to believe he's been gone for a year. It, it seems is. like just yesterday we sat on the stage and, and told people of his passing. And a year is gone, and it has been a whirlwind of activity and of tremendous growth in the history of this ministry. So even though the Lord chose to take J.R. home, he's continued to work on here. Not only has he continued it, he's expanded our television outreach, he's expanded our our magazine outreach, our bookstore outreach, and now he's opened up a door for us to reach the whole world with the gospel. Jesus is coming soon. I mean, he would just be tickled pink if he were here with us, that the Lord is blessing this ministry the way he is. Well, Bob, I couldn't have put it better myself, and uh, we are uh, very excited about where we're positioned right now. <clears throat> As we tell you virtually every day, we believe that Jesus is coming soon. All of the pro prophetic guideposts and markers are visible. Uh, Jerusalem is under siege. The Middle East is a firestorm. Europe is a financial disaster. The United States is collapsing financially, as you all know. And these were all prophesied in the Bible. We are at the time and at the place where people need to be told how mm -hmm. short the time is. And you can help us do it to an expanding audience by your contribution to the J.R. Church Studio Fund. We would really appreciate uh, your help. And Bob, any final words? Well, we just want to let you know how much we appreciate you guys. Uh, faithful viewers, faithful supporters uh, in ways that oh, we yeah. can't even imagine. And sometimes I'm just shocked when I see 
People give an offering of $100 or $200 or $500. They don't ask for anything in return. They're simply interested in keeping the work going strong here. And of course, that's what we're interested in, continuing the dream and the foundation that JR had 32 years ago. In the coming days, we'll be talking more about the JR Church Studio Fund, keeping you abreast of what we're doing, what we're planning. Be, be in prayer for us, because we are poised at, at a moment of great opportunity. And by the way, we, we appreciate you out there very much. I can't name all your names. We do appreciate you. Thanks for your help. Lord bless you, and keep looking up.